Hi there, I'm Jason Lai, and I'm going to show you how I make cat food for my cats. My partner and I uh, actually were browsing the web and came across Lisa Pearson's website. Lisa is a vet. Lisa proposed a recipe to make these foods at home for your animals. I'm not following her recipe 100% because I'm also going to add vegetables. Here's why. When a cat catches a mouse or a rabbit in the wild, it basically, you know, begins to chew up the animal and consumes the entire thing. That includes the bones, that includes the skin, um, and all of the organs. Also, it includes the stomach contents. And so if it's a herbivore like a rabbit, it's going to have, you know, plenty of uh, vegetables in its stomach. So, now Lisa also points out that the, that the organs are consumed, and so I have here chicken livers to compensate for the fact that these have been cleaned out. Uh, Lisa, Lisa also recommends that you add vit natural vitamin E and some cod liver oil capsules too. So, I usually just throw those right into the grinder along with the animals. Here's the taurine B complex, and then iodized salt. Uh, this uh, gives, some, gives some minerals. This is actually low salt, so it contains potassium as well as sodium and iodine. We're going to put, run this, cut it up and run this through a uh, meat grinder. Okay, so if you're a little bit squeamish and this is too much for you, Lisa, also, Lisa Pearson also suggests some sources of the rabbit, which is already uh, ground up. using a fairly coarse grinder right here initially and uh, this is actually going to go through a couple of times to make sure that um, the bones are all ground up and we'll put a finer, gr uh, finer uh, grind on there when we do that. So I wanted to just add, add the powders, the salt, the vitamin B, the uh, taurine which is a, an amino acid that cats especially need and let's continue grinding. feed this through again. And we'll do it on a finer, let's change out the, uh, the grinding um, screen. So this is a pretty coarse one. Just rinse it off in the water. And um, you know, and then we could put one of these much more fine. And then the uh, screen. I mean, the, the plate. Typically, my cats um, will eat around 
eight ounces of this, a, six to eight ounces of this a day. So I like to weigh out uh, four ounces, uh, four ounce portions for uh, for uh, freezing. But of course, they say the proof of the pudding is in the eating. So let's test it out. Hi there, I'm Jason Lai, and I'm going to show you how I make cat food for my cats. My partner and I uh, actually were browsing the web and came across Lisa Pearson's website. Lisa is a vet. Lisa proposed a recipe to make these foods at home for your animals. I'm not following her recipe 100% because I'm also going to add vegetables. Here's why. When a cat catches a mouse or a rabbit in the wild, it basically, you know, begins to chew up the animal and consumes the entire thing. That includes the bones, 